Hello folks, I am back with another product uh, review. It's going to be on the Beretta Swing Muzzle Brake at half by 28 thread. And it's for nine millimeter uh, pistols as well as carbines. Uh, I saw this actually advertised. Uh, it came in my email with Beretta because I own a Beretta 92 and I registered it. And what happened was uh, they had this advertisement for Father's Day, which is coming up uh, shortly. And they had a deal where you could purchase a uh, threaded barrel and you would get this at half price. Now, I got this at the full price because I didn't need a threaded barrel. And it just, in my opinion, would look right on the Beretta 92 M9A1. A1, but uh, I think it would would look better on this one. I guess it would, and maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks like a space gun at this point. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to go with this is because I was using this comp, and this comp is the uh, Akron uh, comp, and this is a very good comp, but it, it was actually designed for... Uh, the Glock firearms, and that's what it was designed for. Uh, unfortunately, when this was on and during my shooting, th mind you, this comp is a very good comp. It, it's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but during my shooting, it would somehow unthread itself, and then next thing you know, I had the compensator moving around during shooting, which was quite annoying. And even though it does have these screws right here, to hold it steady. Uh, and no, I did not lock tight it because I wanted to make it easier for cleaning and so forth. But I don't think the lock tight would have mattered at all anyway, because once it's particularly on, uh, when you screw it all the way down to it, uh, to the end position, what happens is it would be on this angle. Uh, mind you, this is unloaded. I forgot to safety check it. So here you see it's unloaded, and right here it's unloaded, just so people won't get all antsy about it. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, this comp would come out a little cockeyed. So because it was like this in this position when I screwed it on, I would have to turn it in the orientation where it would be straight. Doing that would lead the compensator pushed out a little more and not, uh, I guess you would say, properly seated. Now, there are such things as uh, what they call, um, I call, I think they call them timing shims or spacers. If I had one of those, if you're looking real close in this particular spot and had this in here, maybe this would not uh, move as much and then I could probably screw this on because it has a clamp design. So all it does is clamp and then you would uh, screw uh, would screw these tight. And then probably, maybe you probably wouldn't need Loctite or maybe you would, uh, the, the blue version. But I'm gonna experiment with this because I really like this compensator and maybe I might use it on another firearm in the future. So this is not going anywhere. This is a very good compensator. So, like I said, with the Beretta um, swing muzzle brake, uh, I decided to pick up uh, this particular one. And mind you, they um, this is a muzzle brake. It doesn't ha they don't have like comps on their website, so they only have this particular design. And they have a couple different ones. Some have like the little uh, polka dotted perf. Uh, perforated um, muzzle brakes. Some have other designs. Some even have like what you would use. Like some of you see the muzzle brakes on shotguns where you can just do door entries, that which is not good for this particular firearm. But what I like about this is you can turn this just using your hand strength and it will stay in the proper position. That's what it would do. It would just stay right there in the proper position. And because it stays in the proper position, um, you can all, it, like I said, you can hand tighten this. And as you see, this was hand tightened yesterday because I was, and it's still 
did not back out. It didn't move out of place and it worked extremely well. Just like this compensator, uh, it, it, the shooting experience was very good. I mean, it, it just decreased the recoil so much that it was a pleasure to shoot with the combination of this apex trigger and uh, this, the vortex sight. This really worked like a charm. Uh, notice another thing you may notice there is a these uh, markings here. This is so if you have a tool or some type of wrench, you could wrench it on. Like I said, I didn't need to use a tool for that. But if you have, let's say, maybe uh, an MPX or maybe a, a CZ Scorpion, may, uh, this will probably be a good addition to those particular. Um, of firearms that if that if you want a muzzle break, but I find that this really helped the firearm a great deal. Uh, I'm really liking this right now because I uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, a friend of mine online basically said that they were surprised that I would get uh, an aftermarket trigger because I'm usually so staunch about not having an aftermarket trigger. So this is the second firearm with an apex trigger. So like I said, the combination of both this and the comp, it's, it makes this for a very fun firearm to use. I wish that Beretta might have come with a compensator type that was squared like this so it can fit more the, the aesthetics of, this, uh, of the FM509 Tactical. I wish they did. Um, but like I said, this works and I can probably use it on like my MPX or whatever. And if, if I would decide to take this off, but I will order some uh, timing shims from uh, Brownells, then put this back on to see how it would do, see if it will fit properly like I want it to. So this was just a short review about this. I, like I said, I really like the way this worked out and I'll be playing with this and doing some other experiments with this because this is uh, really a good combination. All right, folks. Well, happy shooting. Stay safe. Hashtag 2A.